All right, guys, good evening. Uh, so we got two bales of hay. We're gonna go up here to the pigs, hogs, whatever. And uh, show you a little trick here. So they'll, <clears throat> they'll eat hay, they'll dig through it. And I'll tell you what, they've been making a mess of things right here. Hey pigs, what are you doing Dash? Uh, so what we're gonna do, oh, you know what? Let's go to the big ones first. Cause I got a, that, that's actually an oversized bale there. You can see they just keep making their mud waller bigger. <clears throat> and you say, where'd all the dirt go that was in that hole? Well, believe it or not, they eat it. Uh, that's how they get some nutrients. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have to pause it because I can't do this one-handed. Unfortunately, I'm not Hercules. 510, that bale of hay is not much shorter than I am. So I'm gonna throw it in, and then I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna cut the hay rope off of it. Okay, well, unfortunately, when I threw it in, the hay twine just come off of it. It was already kind of a messed up little bale, so we're just gonna grab some of the cakes. Little sections of this are called cakes. We're just gonna throw it. Throw it around like so. And they'll actually knock through it and spread it better for you. All right. Now, I got these this hay off of a local farmer. He's a neighbor of mine. Sorry, I got a bug in my throat. Just down the road. Instead of buying it from, uh, you know, somewhere like Lowe's or somewhere which I'm sure still goes to a farmer somewhere, but... I like keeping it local, and I mean super local. So another one right there. Try to this. What what this will do is they'll push through this stuff, and it'll cover up a lot of the nasty muck. You're adding kind of like a carbon layer to it, and also the uh, you can see they mess this stuff up pretty bad. The worms. And other bugs will be attracted to it once they spread it out. Worms will come up out of the ground to eat it. And then, of course, they can eat the worms. So as it decomposes, it attracts bugs and stuff like that. And, of course, they do eat grub, bugs, worms, pretty much and they get their mouths on for the most part they are picky if you want you can kind of kick it around but you know just leaving it like it is kind of gives them something to do instead of them just being in a pen i had my original intentions was to have a couple pens that i could move but everything happened so fast this year and i wasn't able to do that all right, ooh, that's soft right there. So we're gonna leave that. Get this piece of hay off my hand here. As you can see, they didn't really pay me no mind. They didn't pay me no mind. All right, now we're gonna go down here and do the other one. It's funny, because I bought all these from the same guy, just at different times. I bought all those once, and then I bought, uh, I think it was 10 or 12 more. I can't remember exactly. So, let's see here. Let's see if we can get a rise out of these guys. They, guys and gals, they seem to run from you when you go in, which is kind of funny. They're starting to pick up. There's a runt. Not sure what uh, his or her deal is, but. She ain't growing, that's for sure. Not like the other ones anyway. I mean, she's growing, but... You see, they've started rooting under there. I'm gonna have to work on that. 
a little bit probably all right i'm gonna pause you again throw this in all right, so that one stayed together and as you can see they're already curious so there's dash again I ain't minding me too much tonight Tell you what, I can probably just pull. I was gonna get my knife out and cut it, but pull, it. pull that rope off like so. This is kind of a loose bell too. These were some of these were leftovers from last year, but I didn't mind. He gave me a good deal on them, and for what I'm using it for, it works out good. And then I bought some fresh too. And you, you know, haze. You know, for the most part, they have some for a little bit of animals and stuff it really too bad to buy I and mean, then you can get 20 bales for 100 bucks on square you, you know most people can manage square bales if you don't have heavy equipment i'm just kind of throwing it out here a little bit i'm gonna put some over here in this makeshift shelter i made this is just uh hog panels and i just arched them and then i put a Heavy duty tarp over top of them. So, let's throw some stuff in here. So, kind of the same thing I did with the grapevine over there. I'll do it. Might, might do a video tomorrow to kind of show how they've spread this out even more, plowing through it with their. Do pink noses. Yeah, pig. Who you running to? Hey, easy now. Don't run off all your bacon. See that, guys? He's trying to run off all his bacon. Look, see there? What are you running for? Oh, we'll get what's this. These pigs, these are so skittish. Look, I don't know why. That's funny. Anyway, all right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. If you even look at the evening sky there, we'll climb over the hog panel. Let's give you a 360 view of what Homestead Know How Life is Good gets to see, and I'm sure y'all see it too, just in a different perspective. All right. Almost kind of remind myself of Bob Ross. You may know who's, who that is. Just put him a little, little friend over here. Just paint him in. I don't know if anybody knows who Bob Ross is, but he was a really good painter. Some of the stuff you look at, you'd think was real, but he painted. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. Not sure what that has to do with homesteading, but hey, maybe that's what you like doing. You paint homestead stuff. You know, you don't actually raise animals and stuff, but you paint images of animals. All right, you see our mess. Seems like I clean it up, and then it gets back to what it was. Hey, look at our little elephant ear island here. This is kind of neat. We got these from one of my son's old teachers, and uh, they've uh, just grown like that. It's actually a big clob of dirt that we brought home. And now we've got a elephant ear island is what I call it. Alright guys, homestead know-how, stepped into divot. Life is good. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And we hope y'all have a blessed day.